All right. You already know about Latin versus Anglo-Saxon words from some of the earlier videos. But to review, the English language, it has two distinct sources. One is Latin. One is Anglo-Saxon. Latin is a high and complex language. Anglo-Saxon, that's where we get our simple words. The big, complicated words come from Latin. The simple words come from Anglo-Saxon. So words like smack and kick, those come from the Anglo-Saxon roots. Uh, the big, complicated words, they come from Latin. Uh, words like pulchritude and lachrymose, those come from Latin. Also, your boring words come from Latin. Hostile comes from Latin. So what does that have to do with college essays? In addition to creating vividity, Anglo-Saxon words create trust. So whether you're telling the truth or lying, the Anglo-Saxon words will make your story believable. Let's look at a few examples of, of the stiltedness. Here I'm just going to use some, I'm going to use the simple words, but the boring Latin words. Let's take a look to see how they read. Fred performed hostile behaviors with respect to Sam. Nobody even knows what that means. And that's the point, right? Latin words can let you hide what really happened. And so they, because they're used to hide information, they inherently lose trust. Latin words lose trust. Anglo-Saxon words gain trust. Uh, because Anglo-Saxon words are specific. They reveal exactly what happened. When you think of the Latin word thing, when you think of ancient Rome, you think of people who are there sitting lying to each other in the Senate. Anglo-Saxon, if you want to understand that that culture, think about movies you've seen where you have like a bunch of like sort of semi-Vikings sitting around, you know, just eating on some gigantic turkey leg, and if somebody talks back to them, they smack them across the face or stab them or something like that. That's the Anglo-Saxon root. Now, of course, maybe that's exaggerated, but you get the idea. It's that raw, immediate, honest, holding nothing back aspect uh, of Anglo-Saxon that causes people to gain trust. Nobody's going to think that an Anglo-Saxon warrior is going to lie to you. And no one's going to think that anyone in the Roman Senate is telling you the truth. Politicians lie. People who can't control their violent impulses at the dinner table tell the truth. So we want to use those Anglo-Saxon words. They gain trust all the time. Here's an Anglo-Saxon sentence. Fred smacked Sam and knocked him down. Bam. Nothing held back. No politeness. That's the power of Anglo-Saxon. It gains trust right away. Uh, let's let's see how it not only loses trust, but it can also make things boring. I'm going to show you how uh, the difference that the way that an Anglo-Saxon phrasing that Anglo-Saxon words can actually make a boring to topic seem interesting. So here's the Latin phrasing: In the outlying counties greater than 12 miles from the city border, the property tax is assessed at 1% of the monetary value of the acreage for plots less than 2 acres, or 1.3% of the monetary value of the acreage for plots greater than 2 acres. That's just so boring that I nearly fell asleep reading it. And it's a boring topic. Property taxes are just kind of boring. Now what I'm going to do is show you how does this look when we write it in a plain, simple Anglo-Saxon style. It's going to make this maximally boring topic seem a little more interesting. Okay, let's say you're way out in the middle of nowhere. If you have a small yard, less than two acres, you slip by with just a 1% assessment. But if you have a big yard or farm, bam, you're smacked down with a 1.3% assessment. Same exact information. The Anglo-Saxon words give the power. Latin words steal emotion. Latin words are worse than cliches. I'm going to show you. Here, here's a cliche. That you might see in a, in a movie, a hokeyly written cliche movie, but it's still going to work. A romantic scene, you take my breath away. Simple, elegant, super cliche. But now let's see, let's go, I'll go ahead and make it Latinate, let Latinate, and show that even though it's no longer a cliche, it's going to be worse. Latinate. One effect of your current level of pulchritude is that it impedes the inhalation, exhalation cycle of my pulmonary system. Now, if this was a comedy movie, it would kind of work. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't work because it has emotional power. It work, it's, it's funny because it lacks emotional power. That's what's humorous about it. It makes you sound like an android or, or maybe like Elon. It, it's, it's, not, it's not a good way to, to phrase things. It doesn't gain trust. It, even when it's an interesting and unusual phrasing, it just robs all of the emotion. 
to gain trust, to maintain vividity, to keep that emotional connection, you must use the Anglo-Saxon words. Forget those Latinate words. Yeah, they might be good for your vocabulary for some hard vocab test, but keep them out of your college essay. They're only going to hurt you, and instead stick with the, La with the Anglo-Saxon words, the ones that get gain trust, that have immediacy, and have power.